Elon Musk has made some bold claims regarding the capabilities of his Tesla humanoid robot named Optimus. Chief among them is his belief that the economy driven by worker droids will make possible a future where there is no poverty among humans. In a world of abundance where everyone can have everything they want in terms of goods and services. This would be a fundamental transformation of civilization as we know it, and I think we all can agree that it would be something that we want. So far, they have constructed a functional human-shaped robot using readily available parts so they could begin developing and testing their software. The first prototype was dubbed Bumble C, a reference to the Transformers movie, in an admission that it's not even a B-grade robot. It was also probable that Tesla could put a functional robot into such a slender frame. Therefore, it's totally okay that this new Optimus is quite bulky. I believe that with the first bot concept, they were attempting to emphasize that this was not intended to be harmful or threatening. Every component of the Tesla bot is optimized for cost and efficiency, which includes minimizing the number of parts and power usage. The bot is powered by a 2.3 kilowatt hour Tesla battery pack, which provides enough energy for a full day of operation. This battery unit is entirely integrated so power distribution is not required. Cooling and battery management are all built into the pack, thus keeping the bulk of the weight squarely in the middle of the robot. Tesla is also utilizing their existing products and supply network to produce this tiny battery pack, focusing on efficiency and failing fast to improve it. The central computer is also located in the torso, meaning the brain is in the chest and not the head, again to centralize the weight. This is powered by Tesla's FSD computer, the same one that is in every Tesla vehicle with some form factor and functionality changes but this computer is already designed to do everything a human brain does, which is how it derives a car processing information such as vision information and split-second decision making based on many sensory inputs. The updated bot design uses 28 structural actuators, which is actually fewer than the original concept from last year, which was estimated to be around 40 actuators. The majority of the movements were inspired by nature. The Tesla bot's knee joint is a copy of a human knee joint and the bot's hands use mechanical spring-loaded tendons similar to our own. Using muscle tendons nature has done a pretty good job of optimizing us over millions of years of evolution, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The engineers emphasize many times that the priority is to make a robot that can be manufactured cheaply and quickly, so they cannot afford to use exotic materials such as carbon fiber and titanium. As a result, it will appear quite mundane. The bot does not need to be extraordinary, but it must be useful and functional, with design that can be mass-produced. What Optimus lacks is athleticism. It will more than make up for with intelligence and versatility, and that's where the Tesla bot starts to pull away from the competition. As Elon said, other humanoid robots lack a brain. They may be able to do some parkour, but they cannot navigate the world autonomously. All humanoid robots to date have been extremely expensive and therefore are only produced in small quantities. Optimus has reduced capability, however this allows for greater volume, resulting in a decrease in price. Elon estimates the price of a Tesla bot to be around $20,000, so that's the real takeaway from all of this. The robot demonstration is merely eye candy with little substance. We've all been walking robots before, so it's not a big deal. But the idea that you could own your very own walking robot with the ability to operate independently to use tools and complete tasks and do useful things that you ask it to do for just $20,000 is truly remarkable. I will reiterate again, the key to the Tesla bot's usefulness is its brain. This is the same computer brain that goes in every Tesla vehicle and enables semi-autonomous driving. At the moment, with FSD beta, the car can drive itself through pretty much any situation. It's not perfect yet, but it's getting there. Therefore, the car itself is already a robot with an artificial intelligence that navigates with computer vision. This aspect of autopilot was directly ported over to the boss. The biggest change is that the boss will have locomotion planning tool where they are also taking motion capture data from real people and then mapping those keyframes over to the bot and training it on real human movement. Now this will take some time, but what is working very well in the Tesla bot is the computer vision system Tesla demonstrated. This showed how the bot used three cameras to navigate the world and complete simple tasks. By merely counting voxels, object identification is an additional layer of the visual system, allowing the vehicle to recognize and discriminate between a pedestrian, a dog, a cyclist, a car, and a bus. The bot can recognize and differentiate objects in the real world, 
as demonstrated by the watering can, but in theory, it can identify any object that has been trained into the neural network. There is also a very sophisticated edge detection taking place. So in a car, the FSD computer has the advantage of GPS, which shows the car exactly where the road is and what paths are available to drive on. However, when navigating through an interior space, there is no set path, so the bot must rely on its ability to recognize. And Elon Musk is planning to build these robots in the millions, eventually at a higher rate than Tesla automobiles, which are reaching several million units per year and rising quickly. So there will be plenty of robots to train. The productivity of robots is yet to be determined, but if you consider that a droid is designed to do work that is tedious, dangerous, and repetitive, then there will be more robots than needed. They do not require much programming or remote control. You simply tell them what to do and send them on their way. This bot will operate autonomously until the task is completed or the battery runs out of juice. Elon theorized that Tesla driving cars may increase transportation productivity by a factor of 10. Elon believes that the Tesla bot can provide a two orders of magnitude increase in economic output. The United States GDP in 2020 was just over $20 trillion, so a one order of magnitude increase would be $200 trillion, and a two order of magnitude increase would be $2,000 trillion. This is the calculation on which Elon bases his future utopia of unlimited wealth and abundance, and if his math is correct and his robot lives up to the hype, Elon emphasizes that this fundamental transformation must be implemented correctly, thoughtfully, and securely to ensure that the conclusion is favorable to his society and what humanity deserves. Elon followed up this talk with a Twitter exchange in which he acknowledged that even if the Tesla bot can make life better in the long run, we still have a lot of very hard work to do. Well, that's about it folks. Make sure you drop your thoughts down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, that is so important for getting our material out to more people. Thank you as always. We're here at Smart Money. Hope you have a wonderful day.